Hello and welcome to the class of LT. So today we are going to discuss about LT key points. So first of all, we are going to uh, discuss a technology which is used in uh, 4G and the technology name as MIMO technology. Now this MIMO technology, which is antenna related technology, it is multiple input, multiple output. So if I say the various technology used by the antennas, we have SISO, which is single input, single output. So we have SIMO, which is single input, multiple output. We have MISO as multiple input, single output. And we have MIMO, which is multiple input and multiple output. Single input, single output, SISO. That means we have a single transmitter receiver and at the UE end also a single transmitter re receiver. So single input and single output will be there. In single input, multiple output, that means we have increased the reception quality. So this is receiver diversity. In order to increase the reception diversity, we have added on receivers to transmitter 1. So that reception will be increased. Multiple input, which is transmission diversity. So here in this case, we are using that means in MIMO technology or in 4G, we are using that we have multiple antennas for transmission, so here as multiple antennas for reception at both ends. That means at UE as well as at network end. As per its configuration, we have 2 cross 2, 2 cross 4, 4 cross 2, and 4 cross 4. And in the latest, we are working for 5G, 8 cross 8 also. But in LT, the maximum up to 4 cross 4. It means that two transmission receiver at network end and two transmitter receiver at UE end. 2 cross 4, 2 network at UE end 4, which is not at all practical. 4 cross 2, that we have 4 transmitter receiver and we have 2 transmitter at the UE end. Whereas here in this case, we have 4 at the network and 4 at the UE end. And this is the highest configuration for having huge data rate. But practically that our uh, user equipments are using, which is this configuration. Because UE has some capacity to hold down antennas and to form a waves. That's why maximum uh, supporting, that means we are using two transmitter receivers antenna in our devices. That means you are using four cross two configurations or we can use two cross two configuration also for MIMO. So why we require to increase this capacity? We require to increase the capacity of the transmission as well as we require to increase the reception so that we will have more data rate. Because LD has requirement that is if network is offering you more data rate, so your user equipment should able to capture those data rate and process data rate also. That's why UE also required to be enhanced. So MIMO technology is there in the antenna. Antenna related technology is in the network antenna as well as for the user equipment antennas. User equipments are also having some categories. That means we are having some UE categories as well. Like UE category 1, UE category 2, UE category 3, UE 4 and UE category 5. UE category 5 will support the maximum data rate, whereas the, this will support the less. That's why user equipments are also, as per their configurations, they are divided into some categories. Now, let's discuss about the modulation technique. So, I will compare with the previous one, like GSM is working on GMSK. 
Here, one bit per symbol is modulated. When we move to GPRS, it is also working on the same GMSK. For H, we have 8 PSK. Here we have 3 bits modulated per symbol. After that, we have 3G. It is working on BPSK and QPSK. Now in 4G, we need to increase the modulation scheme also because bits are being modulated. We have to modulate the data and then we have to transmit. That's why we have to increase the modulation technique also. Now this is working on 16 gram, QPSK also, 16 gram and 64 gram. So mostly this is for downlink. That means we will have downlink technique as 64 gram. We can shift to these also as per the conditions and uplink is supporting these. So and this gram is also dependent on the UE category because if we have UE category 5 then downloading 64 then we have uplink 16 and 64. But we have lower category, then we have to support this. So on a modulation scheme, we can see that right now I'm on a QPSK, so I will receive the less data rate. If I'm, I'm under this, we will have this. Now this is a modulation. Here four bits are modulated per symbol. Here six bits are modulated per symbol. So these are the various different modulation techniques which are used in LT. Thank you so much.